Hello! Hello! Hey queens, hey my loves, hey bitches, hey baddies, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Not gonna lie, I did my makeup, but I did not do my hair. I still have my extensions in, microbead extensions, and I haven't washed my hair <laughs> all week because it's a son of a bitch to wash this. So I just use dry shampoo almost every day. Um, but so my hair is crazy. I went to the gym and then I just washed my face and I put my makeup on because I'm in a time crunch. But it's okay. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys for a minute. There's just things on my mind. Um, I don't know, first of all, if you're new here, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and feel free to comment any video suggestions down below. Um, but so lately, I am honestly going through somewhat of an identity crisis. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. I know more or less I'm going to be talking about dating again as a single mom. <laughs> but, um... Aside from that, I am literally going through an identity crisis. So I'm just going to vent and talk to you guys for a second. Now, I've been single for two years. And the majority of that time, I wasn't talking to absolutely anyone. I wasn't entertaining anyone. I wasn't sleeping with anyone. I was just literally on a self-love journey. And I was committed to like building my OnlyFans business. And... Yeah, I mean, I've been rocking OnlyFans business for, I want to say, like a year and a half now. I've been doing really, really well. And like I said, a lot of that time, I was on this mode where I didn't want a relationship. I didn't want love. I didn't care what men thought. Like, I mean, obviously, I care what men thought because, hello, OnlyFans, they were my audience. But in terms of, like, meeting a man, I didn't care about any of that stuff because I was, like, on a rebellious self-love journey focusing on me, 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 me. And, um... When I did my surgery, I did it with the thoughts of like improving the business, but now I no longer, anyways, I'm about to get off track with that. So um, yeah, I'm going through somewhat of an identity crisis and I am in the process of like rebranding and reconstructing my image online and just my, my self image, like how I see myself and my endeavors on the future. So. I am rebranding online and internally, if that makes any sense. But aside from that, I am ready to find love again. I'm ready to entertain the idea of love again. I am a single mother. I work hard for my daughter. I do everything for my daughter. I do not have much help as a single mom. My daughter is four years old. And yeah, I don't, my mom passed a long time ago and I have my dear aunt who has helped me so much, especially throughout the surgery. You may have seen her in previous videos, but she's actually going back to work. So aside from her, I really don't have any help and I do everything on my own. Um, yeah, like I just, I don't have help, like financially, physically, whatever, right? But I'm ready to start to find love again. I'm ready to open my idea, open my heart up again to the idea of love and dating. So that's what led me to this concept. I don't know which direction I'm going to take my channel. I know this is definitely like a glow up channel and I do want to make a video on how I've blown up because I, th is that even a word glown up? It is a word now. I want to make a video on how I've glown up because I definitely have glown up. Oh my god, I need to I need to stick with that. Glown up. Okay. So I've definitely glown up and I was deleting a bunch of pictures from my Instagram and I saw like a lot of old pictures of myself and I was like, girl, like girl in my 30s i look better than ever and i'm not even talking about surgery and i'm not meaning that in a cocky way like forget my body put my body to the side more like how i take care of myself my face my makeup game like even how i dress just overall like i've definitely glown up more than i even realized i thought that i was gonna start the glow up but no the glow up has already taken its its course okay so I'm definitely going to be making videos on like how to glow up, how to take care of yourself, how to do makeup, like stuff related to that. But I definitely want to also talk a little bit about like dating videos, like dating as a single mom, um, how to keep guys interested, long distance relationships, like 
topics like that so let me know if that's something that you guys want to um hear from me or like whatever direction you think i should take this channel in of course we're going to be doing lots of try on hauls i have a bunch of packages on their way literally i have some here but i'm waiting for more and i'm going to be doing lots of try on hauls so try on hauls glowing up relationship talk dating again as a single mom how to keep guys interested that's pretty much what this channel is going to be about so I like I said I've been dating for I've been single for two years and now I'm ready to start dating again I am talking I'm keeping my options open and I'm talking to several people I'm not sleeping with several people just talking that includes people that I've met online people that I've met in person but I wanted to talk a little bit about dating again as a single mom especially when you're a single mom that doesn't have help now anything that I say in this video I don't want it to come off as judgmental to any mothers that do or do, do some of these yeah, I don't want it to come at, come off as judgmental to any mothers that are doing some of these things or are not doing some of these things that I'm going to mention. And this video is off the whim. I just wrote a couple of notes down in my phone. The rest is just going to be like from the heart, from the mind, like off the rip. And um, yeah, so no judgment against any other mothers at all. This is my personal opinions, my personal experience, my personal journey. And it's just me talking, guys, honestly. Like, I am not a relationship expert. I'm not an expert in anything. I just am following my heart again. And, yeah. So, in terms of dating as a single mom, it's definitely hard. And there's a couple things that you have to think about. I think it's important for you to figure out what it is that you want. Like, are you looking to just sleep with people and have fun? And I'm not, I don't mean, like, be a... A hoochie but like are you looking just to have fun get your rocks off and call it a night or are you looking for long term or are you sorting people out while you look for the long term so all of those things I mean every mom's journey is a little bit different for me personally I went through a little period where I was just 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 having my fun honestly and now I think I'm at a point where I kind of want to settle down but it's gonna take me a long time to like allow a person to truly enter my life because i'm a mother so some rules that i kind of jotted down if you see me looking at my phone i got my phone right here um i personally yeah i i want to date but i want to date with the perspective of can i see this person in my life in the future like, will I allow this person into my life, into my daughter's life? Because ideally, I am a package deal, and I have to think with that kind of, like, lens on, is that, like, is this somebody that in the future, when the time is right, I'm going to allow into both of our lives? Because essentially, that person would be a stepfather. Like, there's no way of, around that. So, personally, for me, I am dating again, and I... Am putting that lens on where I am also thinking long term so if I know that there's somebody that isn't fitting into that lens I slowly eliminate them but like I said if you want to just have your fun safely go ahead but at least be realistic with yourself about the expectations so I'm kind of honestly just ranting because I'm not even I'm already talking I'm not even looking at the list um, but five rules to dating as a single mom again this is my own personal opinion advice experience journey decide if you're just trying to or um be in a relationship the criteria for who qualifies for each position is different and this is 1000 percent true i have met people and i currently know people that are just for simply that where i know realistically i will never see you as a stepfather in my life i will never allow you anywhere near my daughter not because i think that they would do anything in in sense of, like you know what i mean not in that sense but i don't want you in her life and therefore like i will never take you seriously in terms of like long term because it's, it's just pointless because if i won't see you in her life then i can't have you in my life so if I was single and not a mother, maybe it would have been a whole different story. But even then, you still have to think about it. Like, if you're not going to see that person as being somebody that you want a future with and possibly have kids with, then don't do it. If they're not father material as a stepfather, they're definitely not father material as a father, like, of your children in the future. So um, I'm, kind, I'm literally all over the place. I'm just talking. I got, like, so many things on my head. Um, but, yeah, so 
um, you have to think about those things. If they are, if you are, what, what, what did I write? Um, yeah, so if you're just trying to smash, then go ahead. Get your rocks off, have fun, be safe, be mindful of who that person is, and just have your fun and call it a night. But if you are looking to be in a relationship long term, then you have to think about who it is that you will allow into both yours and your children's lives. You have to set yourself some standards, some qualifications, some boundaries, some absolute musts have in terms of qualities of a man that you will allow to be in your life overall, especially in you and your children's life. So it's important to just have that criteria of who's just going to be a smash buddy and who's going to be like somebody that you can see in your future. Um, so it's important to know what you want when you start going back into the dating game. Like I said, originally when I started to like want love again, not even want love. I wanted affection. I was craving like that physical need. I started to have my fun, but it was just pure fun. I wasn't thinking about it like, oh, okay, I want love. I want a relationship. I was just having fun. So the criteria at that point was different than where I am right now. Whereas right now I kind of want a relationship, but I, want to be selective about who I'm gonna pick because like I said they're gonna be in both mine and my daughter's life so I'm even pickier with who I'm allowing into my life as opposed to when I just want to have fun okay I feel like you guys get the point um don't bring no, rule number two don't bring random dudes around your kids so if they are just your smash buddy do not bring them near your children and if you do keep it as like a group like i still personally wouldn't bring them around the kids i wouldn't introduce them i i i personally i don't if you go no judgment but i personally would still not bring them around the kid because or the kid or the, the kids i wouldn't bring them around the kids just because that's my own personal preference but if you do make it in like a group setting a party setting a party setting like it's not just you and that person being lovey-dovey and like i said if they're just a smash buddy don't bring them around because you don't know if you're gonna have another smash buddy in a little while like you don't want to be introducing multiple partners to your children like you don't want to confuse your children they already have to deal with enough as it is when you're not with their actual biological father that now you don't want to be setting these examples and confusing them especially when you have little girls even for little boys like you have to raise your children the right way so you don't want to confuse them like oh every other week or every other month mommy has a new friend like no because eventually they're gonna catch on they're gonna get older and they're gonna catch on to your gig and I don't want to be known as the one that has a whole bunch of different friends because you're setting that example for your children and it's not good if they're just a smash buddy keep them far far away and like I said if for any reason you need to hang out with them because you don't have help and you want to um you know you don't have a babysitter you don't have time on your own so you really want to spend time with that smash buddy somehow some way then fine but try to keep it in a group setting and don't be affectionate in front of the children like you that you really need to ensure that you guys are 100 percent alone for but if you just want to spend like casual fun times together then fine just keep it as a group and don't introduce them too fast to your children because if you're not going to see them as a stepdaddy or a possible partner for you then just don't it's, it's setting a bad example for your kids and it's going to confuse them. Um, don't drop, rule number three, don't drop your kids off to be babysat by just any random person so you can have your freedom. So like I said, if you don't have that type of help and you're just desperate to see that person, please try to refrain from just dropping your kids off to just anybody because you cannot trust just anybody. There's too many stories of people that do things to children, not just like physically, but emotionally, and they hurt them and they just don't take care of them properly. And you just want to be really, really careful. I personally don't trust many people around my kids. There's two people that I trust with my child. Um, and it's just, you want to be very selective. Don't be desperate. Um, if that person really likes you, they will wait and they will be patient and wait until you have the time to make for them. But your kids have to be your number one priority and you should not be leaving them with Tom, Dick and Harry just so that you can go out with Steve. Like you don't wanna do that. Be sure that you can trust the person that you're leaving your kids with. Don't do anything out of desperacy and just remember your priorities. Um, 
safety is first like literally all i watch is crime tv and there's too many things that happen to kids and i i cannot you will never be able to live with yourself if something happened to your children because you just left them with some random person um because you wanted to go out like don't be selfish as a mother again i'm not judging anybody i'm just giving advice but as a mother you are no longer the priority like you your wants your needs your desires they will always come second to those children um I guess rule number four kind of is related to number three, but don't start prioritizing men over your children. So don't start putting their wants and their need to see you or their desires, whether it be sexual, emotional, physical, over your children. Your children come first. Um, if your man is hungry, your children need to eat first. Like if your man wants attention, your children need attention first. If your man wants to go out but your children have school the next day and you guys got homework to do, the homework comes first. Like, your children have to still remain your number one priority no matter what. Sometimes, again, I'm not judging, but sometimes women get so caught up, especially when it's a new relationship or a new fling, and they start caring more about the men and their, their, their love and their affection and their attentiveness to their children come second. No. No, no, no. Men are meant like your children are your children and that's your responsibility that is your priority so no matter what your children will always have to come first he can come second or he can come third because it's your children you and then him you know what i meant um so um next up is appreciate your kids more than anything in the world don't get annoyed at your responsibilities with them and don't get short tempered just because you can't get your rocks off. So what I mean by that is I actually found myself sometimes getting a little frustrated because I'm like, oh, like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. And it's like I have to like check myself and stop because my baby is my baby and they're only young once like i have to appreciate all these moments because there's gonna come a time where she's older doesn't want to be around me and now i can do whatever the hell i want and i'll be missing those those moments when she was young and wanting her to want me more than anything else in the world so i try to like when i feel frustrated i try to just step back and appreciate those moments rather than getting frustrated at those moments just because I want to do XYZ like I think it's just really important to mentally prepare yourself that your children are, are going to require a lot of attention especially as they grow older and that has to be your number one priority and yes it's frustrating because you're a mother you already sacrificed so much just to raise these little humans now you want to get your rocks off or you just want to have fun or you just want to let off some steam and it's not so easy because just for you to go out one simple night takes so much planning communication assistance from others like it's a whole mission especially being a single mom it's one thing when you have your parents to help you or you have a sister that you can trust or a family member that you can trust or a best friend that you can trust those things are a blessing so if you have that appreciate it don't take advantage of them but appreciate it because you are blessed and you are lucky but for the ones that don't have it it's very easy to get frustrated at your at your 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 lonesomeness where you don't have that help and you can't just do whatever you want okay so appreciate your children don't get frustrated by them they're only gonna be that age once you're not going anywhere if the man likes you they're not going anywhere and that would also help you to determine what criteria that man falls within is that if they can't understand that your children are coming first then there's the door which would pick one okay so hold on hello hey you're here all right all right i'll be right down all right okay that's my manager calling i have a little surprise that i'm working on so hopefully i can announce it in another video it's not really for youtube it's more for my fans only only fans only friends fansly whatever you want to call it anyways that's a wrap for this video. I hope that this was a little bit helpful. If you have any questions or if you actually like this type of content from me, please let me know down, the, down below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And um, I don't know what else I said. I'm already distracted. So yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family. And I love you, queens. I will see you on the next video. Bye.